Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a technical look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollars. We head into some important CPI data coming out in just a few hours. That CPI data is expected to show a 0.7% gain in the quarter on quarter from the third quarter to the fourth quarter in the Australian CPI. Uh, the year on year is supposed to rise from 1.3% to 1.6%. On a trim basis, the uh, gain in uh, CPI is supposed to be up by 0.5 versus 0.4. And the year on year is supposed to go from 1.7 to 1.6. Anything outside of that uh, ex expectations is going to move them Aussie versus US dollar to the upside or the downside of stronger numbers should lead, lead to the price higher a weaker number should lead the price lower that is the expectations normally when an economic release is out but technicals are also going to play a key role so let's start and uh, look at the technicals for this currency pair I will begin by looking at the daily chart. And if I, if I were to look at the daily chart and uh, just over this period through here, uh, the market's been in a fairly narrow trading range with lots of ups and downs um, over that time period. If I were to X out the extremes, on the downside, I would say uh, anything below this bottom dash line right through here is an extreme through here and through here. Uh, other times we've had support come through here, through here, through here, support here. Here, uh, maybe a little resistance here and support here so anything above this bottom uh, dash line is you know basically um, the low uh, part of the of the trading range these areas are extreme so from 7284 now what about on the top side and on the top side I would um, I would X out anything above this dotted line as well at the, around the 77 level. We had a little move up here, no closes above there. We spent a little bit of time above that 77 level through here, but all these other times above the 77 level, um, I think we had one close here, two, three, maybe three closes over this entire, I don't know, eight months of time period above the 77 level. So I would characterize the range being 7284 to 77 in the order versus US dollar over a period that, that encompasses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nearly a year, 11 months of trading. That's a pretty narrow trading range. At some point or another, this pair is going to break out above the 77 level and remain above that level or below the 7284 level and remain below that level. So keep that in mind, especially as we're at the beginning of the year for 2017. Last year was not much of a year. This year might be a better year for this currency pair. We got to see how the, the fundamentals all play out. And a lot, a lot of times those, those aren't easily predictable. Now, what else do I see in this chart? Well, we currently trade at the 7581 level. So we're more toward the upper area right here, more toward the 77 level. We're also above uh, these key moving averages. These move aver moving averages include the 100 day and the 200 day moving average. And they're converged together right around the 75 you know 7505 level uh, let's call it 75 level so as long as the price can remain above the 75 level that's going to be more bullish from a tactical perspective for the Aussie versus US dollar we have some some challenges ahead off of this daily chart but right now the bulls are more in control and in today a matter of fact we traded at the highest level uh, going back to oh, November 11th 11 11 uh, 2016 so that's a step in the bullish direction for that currency pair. Now, let's dig down a little deeper because uh, we're, we don't really know a lot about this currency pair off the daily chart, but we can find out a little more about the, the technicals and what key levels are in play by looking at the hourly chart. And over the um, last six or so trading days, we've seen the price kind of move to the upside. Now that kind of uh, is because we've moved up, we've moved down, we've moved up, we've moved down, up and 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 down, down. It hasn't necessarily been a nice smooth move or a necessarily strong move to the upside, but the bias is more to the upside um, uh, from going from left to right the price is moving higher. In addition to that, um, what do I notice here against the blue line? This blue line represents the 100 hour moving average. And at, uh, every time the market goes below the blue line, here for a few hours, here for a few hours, um, it, it, it doesn't stay down there for very, very long. So we're seeing that uh, bias to um, uh, perhaps go below that line 
but then kick back um, higher. And over the last uh, two trading days, uh, on uh, Monday and again on today, the market got close to that blue line and in today's trading got right down to that blue line, that 100 hour moving average and found buyers against that level. So buyers are entering in against the 100 hour moving average. That's key through the CPI data. As long as the price remains above the 100 hour moving average, it's more bullish. If we move below that level, guess what? it's going to be more bearish. So if we get something weaker in, in data here today and we see the, the, um, the uh, price move uh, to the downside and, and we go below the 100 bar moving average or 100 hour moving average right here, uh, that would be more bearish. We look for uh, that what is, has been support then become resistance for traders. It becomes our risk level on a short trade on a move below this area. You might as well also look for a move below the trend line as well uh, because it's uh, fairly close to that 100 hour moving average. This level comes in at 75.57 and our trend line comes in at around the 75.50 level. So only about uh, seven or so pips uh, uh, difference between those two levels. Um, if we were to move below below those levels uh, we would look toward uh, the uh, next the next target being the 200 hour moving average it's a green line in the chart and if I go back in time back in time back in time the last time the price was below the 200 hour moving average you have to go all the way back to this date right here this is January 3rd the first trading day of the year that the price was below the 200 hour moving average so it's been a long time of coming since the price has moved below that level but as you can see the the uh, moving average is much higher than it was on that day so it becomes an easy your target to the downside but that would be a, uh, a target to get to and through and here is our two uh, moving averages on the daily chart the 200 day moving average and 100 day moving average come in around the 75 level to 7505 level getting below those levels would be the third targets on the downside so uh, getting below this area right here the 200 and then the 100 and 200 that turns a bias more to the downside for this currency pair that's on the downside now on the top side if you connect our highs here uh, through here went a little bit above the top side trend line here only by a few pips but that trend line comes in at the 7611 area move above the 7611 area and that's going to be more bullish here for this currency pair look for the for support then to come in against the underside of this trend line that it is break above it that what was once resistance now becomes support and we start to move higher uh, in that pair to the upside. Any clues from the five minute chart drilling down into that? Uh, not really, we're kind of right in the middle of the trading range for today's trading range, kind of waiting around for that number to come out, uh, see which way it goes, using um, those levels off of our hourly chart, um, either the top side trend line, 100 bar moving average trend line on the downside. So that's my look, technical look at the Aussie versus US dollars. We head into that key economic data coming out later on tonight. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Good fortune with your trading. My name is Greg Michalowski. Bye-bye now.